We're on the Turley Holes near Mytham Royd in, in West Yorkshire. What we're doing here today is doing some lime and fertiliser application as part of the More Life project. The, the helicopter behind us is putting on lime and fertiliser and the reason that we need to put on lime and fertiliser is because the pH is really, really low. Because of atmospheric pollution over the last couple of hundred years, the pH is about three and you just can't get vegetation to grow in that, plants to grow in that. And so, so we're trying to raise the pH and give some nutrients for the grasses to grow. So we're here today, it's a, you know, it's a nice spring day. The wind is almost too strong for us to fly today. There are quite a lot of logistical problems with it because we need to get the material on before the birds start breeding, which happens in the next couple of weeks. But after the winter, um, so when snow has melted and when the, when the weather's a bit better. So for this operation here this year, we've been putting on about 600 tonnes over 1,500 acres. The scale of it is, is really enormous. The areas that we're looking at are, are areas of bare peat. And areas of bare peat actually show up in aerial photographs really, really clearly. And that enables us to, to draw on the computer where those areas are, which means that we can get the pilot to spread the material in exactly the places that it's needed. Once the heather brush has been, has been put down, what we're trying to do is create a skin to stop the bare peat from moving. Um, so the heather brush goes down and then we put the lime and fertiliser on to get conditions where we can get grasses to grow. So the grasses we put on are just grasses that you use on football pitches and things like that. And we don't want them to stay here very long, but they're just here to stabilise it so that the moorland plants like this cotton grass can come in. Once we stop putting on the lime and fertiliser, these grasses will die off. That's a key part of the whole thing because they're not native to here. We want them to go after four or five years when the other sort of vegetation has started coming through. 